Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Renzo here. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's draw. I'm gonna draw with charcoal, like I'm doing lately. Okay, using this vine charcoal, a couple of charcoal pencils, one is medium, the other one is soft couple of round brushes okay and a knitted eraser okay, stick this knitted eraser to a brush okay oops one second okay okay, okay. one second okay Okay, looks like everything is working okay. Let's see, I got the photograph here to my left. Okay, let's see, it's gonna be the top, the bottom. I'm gonna place the head here. Yeah, yeah that's, that's good. A little bit more to the right. No, I think that's good. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna start just uh, with some shadows. Okay, I just one side of this vine charcoal. I'm gonna start doing this. It's a pretty soft charcoal. Say hello, Nolan. Oh, hello, Dita. Hello, Twee. Tweet. Tweet ten times. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Even that you don't see any, like nothing here, I'm squinting and comparing. Okay, what I see, for example, is a frontal light. You no, know, I couldn't find any better photograph. Usually, we uh, it's better to choose a photograph where we see, you know, light from one side and shadow. Here is a frontal light, and both sides are a little bit darker, but it's not like a darker, darker shadow. Maybe I'm gonna exaggerate a little bit more the highlights. You know, because I could see, as you see in the photograph, the the lights on the on the head, on the face, they are not like a really white, or really light light. I always, uh, you know, I try to keep some white of the paper, the paper, some paper for the highlight on the nose, 
and maybe a highlight on the forehead or the cheeks or the mouth the lip okay but here on the, the photograph it looks like even the, the highlights are not white you know they are kind of grayish and then I'm gonna try to just add a little bit more of contrast but just by adding more highlights okay now I use a brush and I blend Now what I do, I check out some alignments. Again, I gotta go over, for example, I squinted down my eyes uh, and something pretty clear that I see on the face are the eyebrows, it looks like that. Yeah. Yeah, and then I see this triangular shape here on the nasal bone, the globella. And then the shadow that goes down. Okay, and the nose that looks pretty rounded. As I'm copying that, I'm trying to uh, uh, so copy that. I, I could try to look for some alignments or some angles, anything that you could you think that you could, you could be you could be used. For example, something that's pretty common about proportions. You know, the distance between the eyes is one eye, but you gotta check out that because it's not perfectly one eye. You know, and the width of the nose usually is the same width of one eye. That means that if you have a, uh, a perfect, you know, frontal view, the one side of the nose is going to be aligned with the tear duct, and the other side of the nose is going to be aligned with the other tear duct. Okay, now, double check on that. Even that is, there is not a perfect alignment, that helps a little bit. Everything that helps to place the eyes, the nose, and the mouth, you gotta use it. It's better just just than uh, than trying to guess where you're gonna place where you're gonna place the nose on the eyes. Another thing about measuring that I always repeat in every video, you know, the distance from the eyebrow to the nose is the same distance from the the nose to the chin. Now, check. For example, for him. He, uh, I would say that his chin is a little bit higher than this distance, just a bit. And I think it's because of uh, his mandible. Okay. Now, let's place the mouth. I'm trying just visually measuring from the bottom of the nose to the mouth and try to repeat that distance. To to the bottom of the chain. Okay, if I follow just regular proportions, uh, I usually find the bottom of the mouth halfway from the nose to the chin. Here, that means that the whole mouth is going to be set on top of this knife. But I mean, that doesn't happen today. That's w that's why I keep saying. I mean, I use proportions, but you gotta just check out because it's just like. Maybe you're gonna find out that 
few people just fit in those perfect proportions. Hello, Jenna. Hola, Juan Carlos. At this stage, you know, maybe the drawing doesn't look really good. But if I squint down my eyes and I compare with the photograph, I can see that the position of the nose, the mouth, this shape, for example, that I'm trying to copy, the distance from the eyebrows to the eyes, you know, everything looks pretty close to, to the photograph. Okay, not perfectly, of course, but enough to continue working. Okay, I'm blending again. I only raise the highlight on the nose. Light. Okay, on the globella here and lights on the cheeks and the bottom lip okay okay now let's try to add some details okay I'm gonna work one. I'm gonna work one eye on one eye, just a bit, and I move to the other eye. Okay. Double check the alignment. You can do this. Put it on top of the the photograph. Next, then your drawing, or the drawing, and then then the photograph. The nose, the nostrils. For the nostrils, I see something like a, like a V shape, like that. Okay. For the mouth, yeah, I could do something like this. One, two, three. Okay. But when I'm doing this and checking an alignment between the corner of the mouth and up, okay, find some just an axis, a vertical axis, and find you know a point of coincidence there. An alignment is going to be aligned with the tear duct or with the iris. You gotta check out. See. If you don't see the photograph, my left, pretty sure you don't, you don't have any idea who's, who's this guy. Okay, now again. You notice that I, I, I drew a little bit of the eyes, nose, mouth, the chin. I go up again, the eyebrows. The other eyebrow. Then again. The eyes again. Ok, 
okay I'm gonna start using my fingers after working on the mouth a bit Now I'm going to use a poster stick. With this one I get the darker values. Okay. I'm comparing. When I compare you know, I mentioned a lot that I pimple my eyes really fast between the drawing and the photograph. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's continue. I'm gonna use this on the hair. I pick up the darker spots on, on my drawing, like for example here, or here, and then uh, when I do this, obviously uh, I got a little bit of the pastel on my finger, and then I use this to work on the face. Stepping back. Okay. What I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna darken up the face a bit. Okay. I wanna see the light just here in the center of the face. It doesn't look like him, <laughs> nothing at all. It doesn't matter, you know, likeness is just a combination of everything that's happening here, proportions, comparison, and values. Okay. You know, I, I have teach on School of Art for a few time, but I end up teaching on my Patreon, you know, account, but the thing is so many people, you know, at this stage, they could just give up, like thinking, you know, I don't see the face, I don't see the likeness, yeah. but likeness is something that happens, you know, usually, you know, I would say maybe at, after, if you want to, you plan to work an hour, maybe like the likeness is going to happen the last 15 minutes. Oh, oh hello, Maji. Uh, now I'm saying, what is your process of measuring proportions and angles? What are you thinking when you look back and forth from drawing to photo? Oh, well, yeah, when I just uh, I pimple my eyes from the photograph to my, my drawing, yeah, I don't measure there. It's more about comparing, it's, it's just comparison. 
I don't thinking about any measurement, but since I'm, I'm working with the photograph is the same size, you know, as soon as I, I do that, I see, for example, I'm going to do that now, I'm going to mention a few things that I see on oh, my drawing. I did that and I see that this eye is, you know, is coming down too much. Okay, here, this stroke here. I see that the eyes maybe uh, this eye has to be a little bit up, this eyebrow a little bit up. Okay, that the nose has to be tilted, tilted a little bit different. And the mouth, yeah, the mouth I think is okay. The width of the face I'm not so sure, that's why I don't have any definition here. Okay, but it's, I'm not checking the distance here or here. No, it's just comparing, just like I, I compared just this eye, just this one. Okay, and then move to the other one. It has to be bigger, it has to be darker here. You know, it's for the drawing, like seeing that the eyes has to be bigger, smaller, or, uh, and at the same time, values, you know, has to be darker. For example, I see that I don't have this here. But right now, when I compare, I see a lot of differences. I cannot just, you know, go after every difference, difference right now. I go slowly, you know, I continue, I work a little bit, one eye, I move to the to the other one, then the nose, mouth, and just a bit of work on each area. I don't stay that much, because it's the, the face is about everything here. It doesn't matter if I got the eyes pretty, pretty good, and maybe the nose is too long, or the chin is too short, or anything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, hola. Oops, I get a notification here on my screen. Oh, oh, sorry. Hola, Carolina. Gracias. Hola, Elias. Okay. Now I'm gonna use a, a, pe a pencil just to be for more precision, you know, because this is pretty thick, and it, uh, this obviously uh, working with this is just just for values. It's not for lines. Okay. Hello, OC Mart. Okay. No, I'm gonna repeat the same, you know. Work here. He has thick eyebrows. Remember, I used to mention, you know, features or characteristics of, of the person that I was drawing. Like like I just did now, you know, saying that the eyebrows are thick, and I I, I stopped doing that. I don't, I don't remember even when, but I thought that that would be something that would help me with uh, the likeness, you know, mentioning things that I could I could just go over that or keep an attention on those things, you know, details that are important.
uh, check out the mirror. Okay, we need a mirror. That's a must. The idea is not check out the drawing. I mean both the photograph and the drawing together. Okay, that's why I recommend to keep both together, next to each other. I squinting, I squint a lot. Uh, and now I'm gonna try to uh, get the, the iris. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think I got the light, the alignment of the eyes. Yeah. The center line. Yeah, it looks like everything is in place. Okay. Okay. Well, I try to I mean, what I try to do here is always respect my process uh, uh, because. You know, it's kind of scary every time that I try to draw, every time that I try to get the likeness. And then, what I have learned uh, over time is, like, I uh, don't stress myself too much when I don't see the face, okay? And I don't see the likeness, I don't see, like, not, not, sometimes I don't see anything, it's just like I'm drawing a different person. And slowly I start to see a little bit. Obviously, sometimes we I don't get to the likeness, but then okay, I try really hard every time. And if you know, if if you somebody tries the same way that I'm doing, you know right now that for me everything is about values, because that's the only thing I have. When I start just building up the face, is everything is about just values. And after getting values, then I start to work on on on, on the terrors. Okay, let's see. Oh, mm. 
uh, all the things that I mentioned I do that like every what maybe 10 minutes you know I stop I don't, I don't, sometimes I don't I don't stop just just like a few seconds I do this okay okay then I continue I see differences and I know I'm not gonna be able to fix all of them at once and I gotta just pick up maybe one like this eyebrow for example one but remember what I'm doing I'm just copying a shape okay the eyebrows are not just one flat shape but right now it's better just to think about that it's just any 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 shape any geometrical shape that you can use to draw the eyebrows or anything on the face it's gonna be pretty good and after that I'm gonna check out for example that the eyebrows are here a little, are a little bit lighter here lighter here okay. darker here One thing I want to be sure that they are soft. I don't want any sharp edge here. Okay. No, this eye. A little bit darker there, a little bit darker here. I'm making this darker just to pick up a stair from here. Up. I compare again, I use a mirror, I pimple my eyes, okay, okay, okay. Now again the eyes. You see obviously this eye is kind of transparent, this eye is a little bit darker, this is bigger than this one. Everything is okay.
Okay, again, stepping back, pimple my eyes. Uh, just a few seconds. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay, continue now. Eyebrows again. No, the hair. I think I just need the hair a little bit dark. I need to put some order on his head. Only raise a bit. I need to go out to buy more of this pastel and some kind of holder I just love to uh, something that I, I, I need a distance when I do in this so close I block my own the view of my portrait my, I don't like my hand blocking you know what I see that's what I stick to need an eraser to a brush buy some kind of holder I saw that I mean for pencils I don't know if maybe they exist for pastel sticks When I'm using my fingers, sometimes I use one side, let's say this corner, and I get uh, a line, uh, something like, like this. You see, a little bit of that. Now the thing is, that's pretty difficult to, a little bit of, like that. And then I use it like this, to have like a, something like, looks like a brush stroke. I love that effect. Okay. Mm, where is this? The man the boy is down here. I think it's a little bit up, up. Ah, yeah, here. I think it's here. Okay, here the same is up. move the chin up you know a lot for my original stroke here yeah. okay. 
Andrew B, hello, if you can get what they call charcoal holders to let you use the charcoal more like a brush. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get one of those. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Andrew. Now for the people that that's watching on Instagram, I mean, thank you. Do you see, do you recognize his face? You know, on Instagram, I don't show the photograph, like on YouTube and and the other, uh, you know, platforms that I'm just streaming at the same time. You know, and, and live at the same time, you know, on YouTube, Twitch, Rumble, Instagram, and Facebook. Don't ask, don't ask me why I just said <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna be famous. I'm going. I'm going live everywhere. Okay. The thing is that. Do you recognize uh, the actor? I would love to know. You know, because when you don't have the photograph, you don't know. And. Light up the irises. Okay, let's draw this a little bit darker. Tip for the pupils. Mm. That's, that's his name, it's Steve. I got somebody on Instagram say Steve Carell. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, hello, Monique. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Oh, glad to help, Andrew B. Steve Carell from the office. Well, I thought his name was Michael Scott. Oh, that means that Michael Scott is the name of the uh, the character. Okay. Sorry, I thought his real name was Michael Scott. Steve Carell, I'm gonna make a correction if that's possible. Steve Carell. Just one second, just one second. Make the correction at least on, on, on YouTube. Okay.
Thank you, Monique. Oh, thank you, Justy JC. <laughs> okay, I gotta darken up here. Darken up here. Mm. Here. Oh my god, that has too much cheek. <laughs> okay.
speaking about the likeness, I remember we used to, uh, let's say, race. That would be like a race or serve when, uh, when I was in the School of Art, you know, when I was studying in the School of Art. Yeah. And there's some, the, the, there was one guy that he always won all the time. He used to draw on the streets. He was pretty fast and pretty good. You know, that's a lot of training when you go out drawing. He studied in the School of Art, but he needed to make some money. And he used to go to, you know, to crowded, crowded places and draw people for, you know, like going out for drawing uh, for $10, $20. He used to do that all day. And sometimes when we were in the School of Art, we want to practice, you know, and everybody wants to beat him. <laughs> it was impossible. We were just kind of, let's say, that we were in, I was 18 years old, maybe 19. He was the same age, 18, 19, but he, uh, you know, he needed, he, he need, he needed the money to, to pay for materials. Yeah. And he was doing pretty good, you know, because he was good. And that's a lot of practice going out to draw, to draw people on the streets. Yeah. He still is doing that until today. And he kind of, uh, I mean, he's my age now. Yeah. He should be doing that on YouTube, yeah? But he's, he kind of, he, the last time I saw him or I talked to him, he was in Brazil, drawing on the streets. And looks like he was doing pretty good. He goes like everywhere, here and there. I'm just thinking right now that I never tried to to do that. It was kind of scary to go out. Scary for everybody to out go out and draw, you know. Strange people. And just you gotta be fast. Just maybe ten minutes. A quick sketch.
Hello Michael. No long say here that would be a great to be confident enough to draw people off the streets. Can work from anywhere in the world. One day I might I might get that good. <laughs> I dream yeah. Hello Mr. Serge. You should do it for a day that that way you can buy a pencil sharpener. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I we used to hang out hang out with him, you know. Go to see him drawing. Because that was uh this place that crowded place that's uh, an avenue and that's pretty close to the school of art, that's in downtown. That's where he was in the school of art in the afternoon he go he he went to draw, he came back in some days he was just there the whole day drawing and drawing and drawing. To be honest, I didn't, I didn't think about the, about that. Uh, my dad, he did the same when he was in Europe. You know. Uh, he used to draw people on the streets in England. I have seen some of my dad's drawing. He, I think he's pretty good. Well, remember, he told me because he was. He was there in Europe without any money, just a sketchbook and a pencil. And he did the only thing he he knew that was drawing. He went to a crowded avenue and started just to ask for. I don't know. I mean, usually, I think always about ten, ten, ten dollars, ten pounds, whatever. You know, the thing is that he got some money. He told me once, if you're in everywhere in the world, you just need, you know, a pencil, sketchbook, and you can get some money. You know, and obviously you find out, found a, a crowded place, and you start drawing. He was doing that for a few time, I don't remember, but I think then the cops picking up on the street from the street and they sent him to Peru. <laughs> Andrew B. saying, great portrait again, a couple of coffees on the way to you, enjoy. Oh, thank you so much. I love coffee. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Andrew B. No, no, uh, when I pause, I stop, I, what I'm doing is basically, uh, you know, checking out drawing and photographing drawing, photographing drawing. People in my eyes, step back, you know, I use a mirror. Uh, lately I've been using a cell phone more than a mirror. You know, with a cell phone, I think, I, I think it's better for me now, because at the same time, because obviously it's black, I can check out values. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, I remember now that my dad one, once showed me a photograph uh, where it's just sit uh, with a little tiny chair on a crowded street on England with a sketchbook. Yeah, I'm asking again for the photograph. pretty nice because you know what happened uh, what happened with my dad is that he was living in USA and then uh, but he was illegal they took him and they were like hey where do you wanna go do you wanna go back to Peru and he was like I'm gonna go to Europe and, uh, and uh, uh, he was telling me the story and was like what just like that yeah and they put me in a plane to England and I was, wow, that's amazing. And what happened? You know, I got there. And when I got on the, the immigration, I said, oh, I'm here on, on vacation. Yeah, yeah, just that. But I just ha had 20, 20, back, $20. <laughs> I was like, wow. And what do you do? And then, and then when he, he, he told me, I went looking for a street, you know, a crowded street. And I start drawing people, just that. I always got my drawings and I put some drawings there, you know, for people to see my portraits, drawings. And some guy was like, oh, that's pretty nice. How much is that? Ten dollars. Yeah. Draw me. Yeah. He, he did a drawing for ten minutes. He got a few money. And then again, then again. Amazing, you know. For me, it was amazing. What we got an emergency message because of maybe hair hair stumps from two centimeters. What's that? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Anyway, okay. Yeah. Okay, it's raining really hard there. Yeah. Well, reading some comments on on on. On YouTube. Okay. <coughs> I, 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 I need something more about his expression. His eyes, I think it's everything about his eyes. On the photograph, I see the white of the eye really light here, and here too.
Okay, let's see. See a little bit of a shadow here. Oops, that's too dark. Here. darker well okay I forgot to clean my my, my, my my hand I got some oil I got this okay no big deal oh this shadow it goes like like that here it's too dark okay this shadow here too. Uh, I think I got this shadow on the nose too dark, this one. And it looks like it's kind of broken. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Oh, I need to highlight the eyes mm, around here. Almost done, almost done. It's more than an hour. I try to keep this for an hour. It's a daily practice for an hour.
Okay. Somebody wants to draw along with me. I have draw along sessions on my Patreon account. The link is on the description box. If you don't see the link, you just look for, look for me on Patreon as Renzo Art. We draw every Thursday from 7 to 10 p.m. for three hours. We draw for three, three hours. <coughs> mm. That's it for today. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is too dark. Oh no, looks like I have lost something on, on his face when I was adding more shadows. I don't know what it is, but something happened. I thought it was better like 10 minutes ago. Oh, oh, again, some, 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 uh, well, oh, thank you, MVBS95. Okay, I got, ah, okay, uh, left ear. Oh, okay, I'm gonna check on that. Lock bigger. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna check on that. Thank, thank you, Monique. Ok, 
two, 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 Q, Q, didn't check out. <clears throat> oh, the year look, look, the year looks too short. Uh, oh, you know, but I was, I was thinking about that, that, that did you notice this year looks, <laughs> look higher than this one. I'm gonna make this a little bit, a little bit higher, but I think I'm missing this here, this shadow here. Maybe I have to make this a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter, this one, a little bit bigger, this one. Just that, just the, just the ears. <coughs> Nobody sees anything more. Maybe something about the width of the face. Oh, I think here, 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 here. I see something here. Light up the nose a bit. Okay, I'm uh, gonna read some comments. Okay. Bloody ears, yeah, bloody ears. <laughs> Maybe the chain length. I'm gonna check out that. Oh, hello, Gary. I'm gonna check out that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, gotta come in here. I assume you prefer the pencils over the vines. Oh, yeah, yeah the vine charcoal is, is pretty soft to. To, to get to the darker values. That's why I, I switched to, to charcoal pencil and to pastel for the darker values. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is pretty useful, yeah, for sure, you know. I need to do that the same with this. I mean, uh, I'm gonna buy a holder. Okay, I'm gonna check out the chain length mm, 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 mm. or maybe it's just the the width it could be okay it could be that it's more rounded here there's a shadow here and then a shadow here yeah I think that I think here's this this is the problem I think oh this is too dark I can use a clean finger, just as eraser. I don't have more clean fingers. Yeah. And this shadow goes up. It connects with this one. Yeah. And this one goes up and connects with this one. Yeah. Yeah. 
I like my drawing. I love my drawing. But there's something else. It's not, uh, I mean, I, something. I'm missing something. Yeah. But I'm pretty happy with the drawing anyway. You know. One of these days, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get it perfect. It's pretty difficult, but I'm pretty happy with my drawing. the face here okay I think that's it oh an hour and a half yeah that's enough for a practice thank you so much everybody for being here See you all tomorrow morning. I'm trying to go live, you know, a every morning. Uh, okay, from Monday to Friday. Let's see if I can make it tomorrow. Tomorrow I have a, I have a group class, and uh, and sometimes uh, you know it's pretty difficult, but I will try. You know, if you don't see me tomorrow. You're gonna see me next day, the day after tomorrow. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. Take care, you all. Bye. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Oh, our, our, our link. Don't. <laughs> Sometimes it's difficult to read the, the, the names. Thank you so much. Andrew B for the coffee. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Dita. Thank you, Gary. Thank you so much, everybody. a little bit here. You all can go now. Leave me alone with my drawing, please. Okay, <coughs> that's it. Bye, everybody.